All right. Let's get them started. Hey, hey, Vaughn, what's up, bro? All right, all right. Amen. All right. Let's get them started. Here we go, y'all. All right. Good morning, my children of the sun. Welcome to the Open Eye on WHGE 95.3 FM. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Hey, this is Patrice Gibbs, your third eye optometrist. Ready to open that eye. Ring the bell, sucker. School's in. That's right. The third eye optometrist is here to give you some education. Let you know what's going on out here. Oh, you know what? Here. I'm a, uh, oh, wait a minute, let me get that. Uh, yeah, there you go. This is live radio, y'all, anything can happen. All right, it's all good, though. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm with you. Mm. Got a little echo going here, let me see. Might have to turn that down, so that's all good, okay. All right, all right, yeah, I'm going to start off, uh, a little philosophically, if you will. All right, got some stuff here. Some of the stuff I may have said before, but you learn by repetition. That's how you learn. That's how you have to repeat it because people forget and life goes on. And you know, you have to trust that when you get a no, a yes is waiting. Don't lose faith because you didn't get what you want when you wanted it. Pay attention. The tougher the day, the greater the strength you develop. The longer the wait, the deeper your commitment through patience. The harder the test, the smarter the student. Note that the more trials, the bigger the triumph. More of this means more of that. Get it? All right, all right. Hmm. You know, we are, as a people, black people, the most spiritual people on the planet. That's why when the colonizer came with his ideals of spirituality and religion, it wasn't a hard shift for our people. Look, spirituality is not a belief system or ideology. It is, it is the surrender of one's ego to the infinite wisdom and knowledge that is the universe. Mm -hmm. Don't don't pretend to be someone you're not because you're pretty good at being you. You might not be proud of some of the things you've done in the past, 
But be proud of who you are today. You may not be perfect, but you don't need to be. No one is. Mm -hmm. Well, I was speaking of the colonizers that are bringing us their religion as opposed to our spirituality. One of the things that came up when I was looking at this is this understanding of the King James Version of the Bible. Okay, first let me tell you something. Who King James was. King James of England. Uh, I don't know what number James he was, but he is around in 1600, 17th century. King James was an awful dude. Don't get that mixed. King James was terrible. He was a pedophile, homosexual, rapist. And when he finished raping, the 12, the 14 year old boys and children, I Pretty sure he raped females too. When he was done with them, he killed them or had them killed. When his mother caught him on his crack, we're talking about his mother now. When his mother caught him on his crack, she had him, I mean, he had her killed. He had his mother killed. And this is who commission the version of the Bible that for centuries was used here in the United States by black people. Once we left slavery and was able to read, it was the King James Bible that dominated the black church. Now the King James Version of the New Testament was completed in 1611 by eight members of the Church of England. There were, and still are, no original text to translate. The oldest manuscripts we have were written down hundreds of years after the last apostle died. There are over 8,000 of these old manuscripts, and no two alike. The King James translators used none of these anyway. Instead, they edited previous translations to create a version their king and parliament would approve. Hey, Sherry. Peace, Brother Muhammad. Brother Robert. Minister Robert. Show you some respect there. So, 21st century Christians believe the Word of God is a book edited in the 17th century from 16th century translations of 8,000 contradictory copies of 4th century scrolls that claim to be copies of lost letters written in the 1st century. <coughs> Damn. That's not faith. That's insanity. Jeez Louise. That's why you got to learn your history. And when I say your history, look, black people, World history is your history. See, what the colonizers tried to do was to remove the African from the story of world history. Which is why you have a lot of mythology and falsehoods in world history from colonizers' academia. Learn your history. There's no excuse now. Because, look, you got a cell phone, then you have a handheld computer. You can reach Google. You can find out anything. Little research, that's all it takes. Little research. See? All right. Look. Some folks will never realize how hard you were riding with them until you park. An unfortunate lesson is required skill of discernment and necessary. 
All we need to do is pay attention and, 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 and respond accordingly, not emotionally. And that's not always easy. Reality is some people are only meant to come into your life for a reason and a season, and that's it. When you are questioned, when you are forced to question where you stand with somebody, walk. When things don't, you know, when things start to not add up, subtract yourself. If they don't value the privilege of your presence, give them the punishment of your absence. You can't make people appreciate you, but you could for damn sure make them wish they had. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's some people out there right now that wish they had sense enough to appreciate you. The Open Eye is brought to you by the Delaware Center for Homeless Vets, founders and builders of the Pearl Center, the Veterans Pacific Apartment Building. Delaware Center for Homeless Vets, changing veterans' lives all over Delaware. Any content provided by Open Eyes hosts, guests, or contributors are theirs and are not intended to rely on any religion, ethnic group, company, or individual. All right, all right. You know, one of the big things with the MAGA people, of course, that's what we got it from, was make America great again. Mmm. When was that? Wait a minute, let me think now. Um, it might have been that day in 1971, I think it was around March, where it was that one day where no black people went to jail and it was like March the 3rd. And no, I think I was like 10 years old. And no black people that went to jail or were brutalized by the police or were fired because they were black or denied the pursuit. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Let me see. No, no, it wasn't then. When was it? When was it? Make America. When was America great? It never was. When people say, when people say, you know, let's make America great again, what period of American history are they talking about? When we were a British colony with unfair taxes? No, when um, when Americans burnt women at the stake because they thought they were witches, it sure as hell wasn't then, was it? When America practiced slavery, mm, no, no, it wasn't then. When America, you know what? Did you know that America was the only country in the world that had to have a war to end slavery? Only country in the world. Because white supremacy was not going to let that go. The idea of doing the work themselves, you know, and guess what? Truth be told, slavery actually never ended. It just evolved. I hope you are aware of that. When was America great? When, oh, was it when women and minorities couldn't vote? Minorities? You mean black people? Stop calling black people. Stop calling yourself minorities. How many times did I tell you that? Because minorities include one eye, one horn, yellow polka dot people eaters. And they don't like us. So stop calling yourself minority. It's a slave term. Let's see, when was America great? When they had, it, it ignored the Jewish Holocaust? No, it wasn't then. When America dropped two atomic bombs on Japan after they had already basically kicked their ass in World War II? No, it wasn't then. I know, I, no, no, it wasn't when they sent thousands, when America sent thousands of men to Vietnam to fight and die 
under false pretenses. How many wars have America fought, uh, you know, promoted with false pretenses? Think of modern times, you think of, uh, uh, of course, Vietnam, George W. with Iraq. You go back in the Spanish-American War. That was another war under false pretenses. You know, had somebody ask, oh, I, I got to get the question right now. What is war about? You know, is it is it about freedom? And, and protecting our democracy? Once again, study your history. I told you on Memorial or the or the weekend, Memorial Day weekend, General Smedley Butler told you war is a racket. America's military is really just basically corporate security. War is about stealing resources. Damn near, oh, oh, World War II? Oh, oh, World War II was about, you know, protecting democracy from the Nazis? Nah, 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 no. World War II was about who was going to control the resources, primarily in Africa, the most resource-rich resource continent in the world. Yeah, that's what it was about. The Nazis was like, hey, look, you know, we want to run things. America said, well, wait a minute. And their allies, including England and France, we running things. Y'all can't do that. Now, you know, you better get it together here. And so Nazis said, uh, look, we got the military, we got the strength, we're going to take this thing over. And the allies, the allies faction against the Axis, which is Germany, Italy, and uh, Japan, said, no, no. The allies said, we're not having it. It's about stealing resources, is the point. What kind of America do you foresee us returning to when you say make America great? I know what the white supremacists see because what they wish is that we were back on the plantation. Yo. Oh, people say, well, you know, it's about the reason that, that white supremacists and white people hate black people it's because it's fear of the unknown because, you know, they don't understand or know who. Yes, they do. Don't get that crap in your head. Do you know they have whole think tanks and study groups to study who we are? And you think they don't know who we are? It's not about the unknown. Now, the, the lower economic class of whites... are indoctrinated. It's not about the fear of the unknown with them either. They're going along with what they are indoctrinated to think. Now, I don't care how liberal you are, straight up you are, if you are a white person, Jane Elliott said, if you are a white person educated in America, you're racist. Because that's what you were taught and that's what you are indoctrinated to do. Be clear about that. This is Open Eye. I'm Patrice Gibbs. Shortly to be joined by my partner in consciousness, Nosaroma. Wait a minute. All right. WHGE 95.3 FM, the education station. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I got you. Yo, what's good? Why? 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 I'm setting up the deal right now. So, you're going to get there with us. You know what I'm saying? You're speaking from a distance. <laughs> 
Like now, I just said, okay, what's the proper name we should call ourselves? Mm -hmm. I haven't got it from you yet, okay. and that's how our that's how let our me, people let, work. Let me, they let me give it to you. Give it exactly how we need it, okay. and how they need how it. We need it. It. It's always beating around the bush I, I and never beat straight the bush. to the direct. Let me get straight I mean, to that's it. That's our people's mentality. Yes, you it understand is. what I'm yes, saying? Yes, it is. So I'm saying, what is the proper name? We don't call us the minority. Right. What's the proper name for us? Mm -hmm. to be called. Uh, tell, uh, let me know that so I can know what to say when a person say that. Okay. I know exactly what to say and it's on point. We're black people. Now, I know what some people will say on that and you yourself have said it too. Black is not a nationality. Uh, black so is not a that's nationality. Not, that, that no, it is not. Exactly. So that, don't, not. that don't register, period. Yes, it does. When they say what's yeah. your nationality to an uh, 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 Irish uh, person? Uh, 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 Ireland. Okay. Okay. So why? But remember you need this. Something to back that black. That remember black this. Has no backing. Yes. Yes, it does. Because remember this. Okay. That Irishman knows he comes from Ireland. Okay. Black. Where they come from? Black people. We come from and understand this. Being the first people on the planet, we are indigenous to the whole planet. Okay? But that's not black. Black, they, yes, in the yes. beginning, there's no other people in that are indigenous to the entire planet. In the beginning, you weren't called black. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. Kenny, uh, uh, at Africa, we did not shy away from calling ourselves black. Now, here's the thing. Some people, we were people and I don't color. mind. I, no, no, because that includes too many people. 
But any kind of people, people that, any kind that person that has a dark black. tone is black. That's what they say. That, so uh, if you're colored, you're colored. Okay. If there's no Indian, there's no uh, Irish. If you're white or black Dominican, I mean, they, you can't tell these people so they're black. Mm -hmm. Period. Period. In America's eyes. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, well, black, worse than that. Now, look, here's the thing. You have to understand that black and white are social constructs that historically are actually very late terms. Because when we were in Africa, we called ourselves by our family or tribal or national names. Right. For instance, in Kemet, we were Kemet, we were Kemetic people. The Nubians, who were our cousins, who lived south of Egypt, were Nubians. And so that's what, we know? That's, that's what they were calling themselves. They weren't saying they were calling black. themselves. They right. weren't saying I'm a black Nubian or I'm a black. Oh yeah, but they, they were. I they mean, were because their blackness was related to the land, and because it was the richest the richest soil in the world, it was that's still like Ethiopia. The okay? Now, what does Ethiopia mean? Ethiopian is actually where you get the word Egypt. If you look at the root of the word, huh? I thought Ethiopia word was in the middle of Egypt. No. Egypt is Ethiopia's oldest daughter. Okay? Is Ethiopia Egypt came out of Ethiopia. This is why they can't find the primitive state of Egypt. Because Egypt came into Egypt came into existence in the full bloom of its technological adulthood. See, they don't know where to look for the beginning of Egypt. They keep looking in, in, the, in, in the Egyptian land. We have to go further south to find the actual origin of Egypt. You have to go further south of Egypt, into the Sudan, into Nubia, to find our, our true ancestors who called themselves Ethiop. Ethiop? Ethiop, which actually is a corruption, a Greek corruption of Ayop, which comes from Ethiopia, which comes from the Nubians, all right? Okay. So, in essence, we are as a, you know, we have become afraid of this. How can I say? Identify. We are Africans. Now, here's what people say. Well, African is not the original name, and it comes from Afio, uh, uh, Scipio Africanus. No, it does not. I consider myself a Paleo American. Okay, so you consider yourself, because Paleo means primary or early. So you consider yourself an early American? I'm ancient. Uh, okay, we can yes. say an ancient I'm an American. Ancient American. But you know, look, understand this, all right? America, North America, mm -hmm. is an ice box. Okay? okay? No melanated people came from an ice box. Yes, we were amongst the first people in America. But, but being a world traveler, hold up. Being world travelers, the African being world travelers, a history that has been denied to us, we colonized the world, including North America, which is why you find things like that they have closed up from, closed off from us. Okay, in the Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. they found ancient Egyptian artifacts. See, now that's where I, this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. There's really no possible logical way, right, mm -hmm. to say, okay, Antarctica was here mm -hmm. and South America was here, right? Mm -hmm. Because the world and the planet and this globe constantly change. Mm -hmm. So just like that Grand Canyon, that wasn't the Grand Canyon, it was an ocean. And mm -hmm. then the, the ocean drained. And it became that. Yeah, it so as the, I'm just saying, the planet switches itself. Mm -hmm. So you can't imagine how many switches the planet has been through to our generation. Mm -hmm. So you can't really go on this area was this and this area was that. Because this area, that area wasn't there then. Okay, you know I understand this. Okay. Africa is the only continent, mm -hmm. okay, 
that is actually connected to the earth. The other continents float. So that term, that, so you that, that I understand it may be so. Only, right, is the only continent that's connected physically, like through the right. earth, to the earth. Through the ocean, everything, to the earth. Right, so everything else is floating. It's right. floating it's around. Floating, right. right, and that's what I'm saying. So, so scientists, is what I'm saying, scientists, so, mm -hmm. it's all guesses. They don't know. Now, but there is evidence. Okay. The evidence is not a no. See, though. science is not a fake. Evidence is a lead. Science is not a fake. Okay? Science, you have faith when you don't know and you believe. Okay? Science is an actual, like I said, it's an actual, how can I say this? Uh, First of all, we don't know the science. It's an actual of what's school going on, so we don't really understand it. But we do know the science. You can no scientist can tell you how the gases are formed to make the stars. None. Oh, yes, they, they can. can guess, man. That is not guessing. When you have actual <laughs> evidence, I and how they gonna get the actual, evidence? They have no one to go up okay. to the sky you and know get the evidence, evidence? And pull that gas together and get the gases and make it. They 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 can't get. The evidence, it's a guess. It's Everything not. they say. No, it's not. That's not so. <laughs> That's not so. Okay. And you know where the evidence comes from? <laughs> where? What? <laughs> hey, man. Can ancient it? Egypt. Okay? And the ancient Egypt. See, uh, here, the, the saying that Solomon made, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay? But what's beyond the sun? What's beyond the sun? They don't the know. Exactly. But the can, can it new? Because the Dogon, look at the Dogon. Now, who are the Dogon? The Dogon is a tribe in Africa. Okay. Okay. That before the European had knowledge of the stars, the Dogon were telling stories of the stars that the Europeans said, oh, that's fantasy. They don't actually know that. And then they actually proved that the Dogon actually knew what the hell they were talking about based on the scientific Study. The imperial evidence, okay? Now, who are the Dogon? The Dogon are the priesthood. Yeah. <laughs> I'm listening to you. Okay. The Dogon are the priesthood that fled ancient Egypt when the white Asian came in. Okay, uh, okay now priesthood, that's dealing with faith. But the priesthood of ancient Egypt, okay, was their university. This is where that's what it, the that's knowledge it. was based. That's what I'm okay. saying. That's the See, that's the, the right now. Okay. Harvard to yeah, uh, but you're talking Harvard about colonizers. But, but that's who are one untruthful. First of all, they're some of the biggest liars. Exactly. You know, they're academic, guessing. Yeah. Well, they're not guessing. because they're guessing, because they have an agenda, and their agenda oh, yeah, is their, their agenda yeah, is, is the economic. Economic. And to prove their superiority. See, Egyptology is not a science. Okay, what is it? Egyptology is an information control apparatus. Okay. Got that? Y'all like that? You <laughs> write that down. That was one of those. That was one of those. That was one of those. Say! You hear it? Apparatus. Uh, informational control apparatus. apparatus. That's what Egyptology is. As a matter of fact, uh -huh. it's so deep uh -huh. on that. It's if you go here. against what the Egyptologists say, they will have you kicked out of Egypt. Uh -huh. Robert Boulet. But that's I, I, I mean, yeah, that's a, that's all a forced thing though. Right. That's, and it's still guessing, even though it's an okay. informational control apparatus, apparatus. Mm -hmm. and all of the uh, all the things that you can say that they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's no physical human being of any generation mm -hmm. that has the physical and the mental ability to understand the way the world is created. It's all. Ooh. It's all. Uh, a dream, you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. when, when when you blessed and when you get a gift, you may have a gift to write, mm -hmm. and you when you write, you can see what you write before you write it. True. Now that's a gift. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, but it was given to you. It mm -hmm. was dropped into your brain. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you didn't physically 
go to school to learn that. You may have, because you're a professor, <laughs> but I'm saying people that's gifted yeah, did, don't, history. right? You know what I'm saying? Right. So, these prophecies that the so-called Kemet and the control apparatus informational sources has been getting, mm -hmm. it only can come from the gift of the creator dropping it into their brain. Mm -hmm. So they physically never done it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's how I say it's a guess and runs on faith. Because mm -hmm. you only have faith in what you believe in strongly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you if you if they come to you in a dream and it felt so real that you you got faith behind it, mm -hmm. that's how it sticks and that's how they been doing it to keep us information though. No one know. Mm -hmm. No one. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm at with it. Okay. And and, and me knowing that makes me a more understanding individual about things that's being said because mm -hmm. I can look at it from no point of view mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying and and take out the information that uh, seems to be logical okay okay you you use the term there prophecy okay mm -hmm. what white supremacy and I include the so-called Jew in this Okay, okay, uh, the so called Israelite in this, right, have convinced the world is prophecy has been nothing but long term planning, which is something that we as a people have forgot to participate in. Okay, when you say faith, okay, tell you about the, the uh, uh, Egyptian Imhotep. Imhotep, his name means he who comes in peace. Okay, Imhotep was the African genius. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imhotep was a genius on such a level that two year, two thousand years after he died, he was still being worshipped as a god. That's how deep his genius was. Imhotep said, "I am not satisfied to believe. I am only satisfied to know." He was one of our greatest scientists. Right. Okay? He was a surgeon. He was an architect. He was. A priest, high priest of Heliopolis, but all in all, okay, he was gifted. Yes, he was by gifted. the hand of the uh, creator. Right. Yes. To put that in him. Yeah. He didn't physically. No, what he was gifted was with one was the need to know. That was his greatest gift, which is why he was one of the world's greatest researchers. Okay, right. which is why. You're one of the greatest researchers. Thank you, brother. Well, I take that home. You got that, that, that same. You know well, I saying? consider myself a, 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 a child spiritually of Imhotep. Okay, okay. I, I can see that. And, I can yeah, see that. Yeah, you know, and there may be some people heavier, there may be some people lighter. Right. But that's what I consider myself. Okay. So for that, see, in our infinite knowledge, okay, and I include all the of us in, knowledge. in our infinite understanding, let okay. me put it like that. In our okay. infant, we require boundaries. Right. So in the beginning, see, that's why we start with in the beginning, all right? We cannot find the primitive state of the black man, where he actually became. We know it was somewhere in Africa. But that's what I mean. All see, right? That's the, we know. See, when you talk like that, mm -hmm. That's what I mean. That's, yeah. that's the area that I only live in. Mm -hmm. Where oh, in the beginning, mm -hmm. okay, how did the beginning begin? Right. Who was the one that said the beginning was then? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you, like I said, in our infinite understanding, we require boundaries. Okay. Boundaries means a beginning and an end. All right. Okay. Our beginning, we can't really say because we've always been here. We can't pinpoint where. Because we've always been here. All right? I we say are the same thing. Start you. Like this. We can't pinpoint where we've been because we don't know nobody that's from there. So we have mm -hmm. no physical mm -hmm. piece of information except for, you know, a, a, a mummy or, you know, mm -hmm. the. Uh, the carvings on the wall, yeah, on the walls. The information that's left behind, the mm -hmm. graffiti that we are leaving behind now mm -hmm. in our generation. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it only can go, and then you got to think, 
our all our information that we've given them mm -hmm. as in timing mm -hmm. all of the planet rotation the date is totally wrong there's, oh, yeah. there, there's no way that they can even go back through the correct date to no. even say that the stuff that we're leaving them now mm -hmm. is the true time right you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so that's how far and how deep i've been in it so that i really leave it at open an uh, open uh, area of information okay. that has to be filled from this point to this point. Mm -hmm. And no one talks about that, mm -hmm. but to that area right there. They always start from that beginning you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, um, now, you know, the thing about how I open your shelf. Right. Children are the sun. What is the sun? The sun is a star. We are star children. All of the the makeup of the universe, right? Melanin being the major ingredient, can be found within us, right? Okay. So we may we may not even be indigenous to this planet, right? Okay. But whoever came here in the beginning decided, hey, you know what? The climate in Africa suits us, hmm. okay? Because it don't suit everybody. All right, these fools over in Europe talking about they built the pyramids. Now this is something that's real crazy. But right. there is nothing in Europe that compares to the pyramids, as far as how ancient it is, as far as the technology that it took to build that. But these Europeans came and said, "We built that." But okay, you built that in a land that you're not from, but you built nothing in your own land. That compares to that. So what that tells me is you're a goddamn liar. Boop. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I'm like, uh, you know how they had a um, ancient temples that mm -hmm. the Mayan Maya people they laid and stuff like yeah. that. The Mayans, yeah. The Mayans, mm -hmm. and uh, yo, they find those type of temples and. All over the all, all over, over the planet. All over the planet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and they strategically placed mm -hmm. through the astronomy mm -hmm. from the sky mm -hmm. to the planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there's, no, there's no explanation. Well, okay. For the fact that that was done. There's no one that can tell you that that was done for this purpose. Because mm -hmm. they don't even know anyone that from that time even say or what it was. had hands on physically right. building it and touching mm -hmm. it. So it, it's the the information trail for that mm -hmm. has died. Mm -hmm. So they'll never be able to know. Mm -hmm. So now that's what I mean. It all start guessing from that point. Right. Well, see, the information has been hidden because the last thing the European wants us to know is that we had science on that level. Hidden and burnt and, and dried yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, know, I like mean, they burnt the library of Alexandria. Yeah, that, and you know what the saying is on that. Well, it, no, it, I don't. Well, what is that? If the library of Alexandria had uh -huh. not been burned, right? Okay. Instead of selling to America, Columbus may sail to the moon because that's how deep the information was there, uh -huh. and that's how much knowledge was lost there. Uh -huh. okay? okay. But the knowledge was destroyed by whom? By the Greeks and the Romans. And really, the Romans more than by anything. war. By war. Right. And what is war? War is about stealing resources. And that's what they came, came to do. Well, it's definitely about the economy. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Transfer, transfer of power. You know? Transfer of power. Stealing resources. Right. I mean, stealing wealth. And those resources don't just mean gold and... No, Destro. Yeah. Destro said, they said, what is it you want, Destro? You said, I want it all. Okay. <laughs> that's America. <laughs> that's, that's America. <laughs> yeah. Get my bread over here. Uh, that's America. <laughs> that is America. Yo, what's good? Gee, we. WHGE 95.3 FM. Yeah, yeah. education station. <laughs> Rightfully called so. Y'all just caught some uh 
deep discussion by Nuss Roma and I. Love you, yo. That's where one love. WHDE 95.3 FM with Patrice and Nuss and Roma. 844 WHDE 953. Call now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, great discussion, bro. Oh, yo, man. Yo. Hey, yo, Shaq. What's good, Vaughn? I see y'all still hanging in there. Hey, yo, Yannick Fly. Hey, hey yo, Peace. I see you. Hey, yo, listen. I, we got to get together to see about the car overheating. Uh, we'll catch up. I'll catch up probably when I roll from the radio station. But, yo. Yeah, my boy Tupac in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Blah. No Saroma, streaming all platforms, Apple Music, Amazon, Spotify, yo, this Mr. Gibbs also in the background, Yes, indeed. jazz play all day on the front porch, what's the name of it? Yeah. What's that? The name of the cut. Oh, 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 uh, Easy Slick. Easy Slick by yeah. Mr. Gibbs. Thank, thank you. In the 15th Quartet. <laughs> yo. You know what's up, this is all freestyle, this is nothing rehearsed, this is all straight right now, live. Live radio on WHDE yep, yep. 95.3 FM, yep, 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 yep. the open eye of the third eye optometrist, rocking it out with our intellectual surgeon, No Saroma. Yeah. Yo, No Saroma, I gotta give some congratulations. The Pulitzer Prize is a journalistic award mm -hmm. for excellence in journalism. Okay. Darnella Frazier was given an honorary Pulitzer Prize for her for her for her courage and, and, and what have you. That is, that's all I can say, her courage. Because in case you don't know, Darnella Frazier was a team who filmed George Floyd's murder. Mm. And you know, and look, protect this girl because she's under threat. She's still under threat. She was honored with a special citation for her video which spurred protests against police brutality around the world. The teenage girl whipped out her cell phone and recorded the police murder of George Floyd last summer, a video that rocked the nation. She got an honorary full surprise for her courage. Congratulations, young lady. Good job. Thank you for your service. As her. Now, um, now, the evidence of that. Now, she recorded an act of you don't look at the uniform like in them circumstances because that's not a police officer at that point. He's a murderer, okay? So you, you're not supposed to really look at that uniform as a um, respect now. I can't respect you because you're committing murder and you're telling me not to. Mm -hmm. And you force me not to. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You discipline me not to. But yet you'll come and murder a person for absolutely nothing mm, mm. that don't that don't sit right with me. Yeah, you know what oh. I'm saying. So that shouldn't sit right with no one in the world. My kind of thinking. Uh, you know, we you know what I'm saying, that, bro. So and, and and knowing that now, instead of her pulling out the video camera, right? Mm -hmm. If she would have pulled out the video camera, recorded what it was that she needed to do, and then after a certain point where a person can only go without air for two minutes the most, mm -hmm. and then that brain did. Right. So if she would have ran over there after the close to the two minutes, seconds, threw her phone down, ran over there, and bust him in the head with a pipe, mm -hmm. then what would have happened? Then what would have happened? You they see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, 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 he he might have lived, but they would have just stop at this point. Right. We have to start reacting right. to the point, mm -hmm. and then let them make the decision from the point. Because mm -hmm. they, they killing our brothers and sisters like it's right. nothing. Right. Like, it's, it's nothing. And I think that is the wrong, wrongest thing to be. And then call yourself American and live for pride and joy and God and mm -hmm. the rest of the things that you know mm -hmm. you you want your kids to be proud of. Mm -hmm. That's that's like so manipulative. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now this other issue because uh -huh. we're running out of time here, but we I'm always run out of time. I know, right? man. Asian Americans got four forty nine point five million dollars in grants, a five billion dollar anti anti Asian hate law. After one year of increased hate crime, one year, black Americans got zero in grants 
failure of Congress to pass any anti-lynching bill or peace reform, which is a joke, after 400 years of murder, brutalization, and dehumanization. Right, because, you know, black people legally don't exist in law. Like I said, that's it's not, not the reason. It's not a, it's not a, when you say. I know black laws dictionary, black law, black is not a, 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 black. a legal term. Right, it's a social construct, just like the N word is that's, a social construct. Right, that's why they're able to get away from it, out of it, and off of it because you don't exist. That's okay? not, that's that's not, just how no, it goes. No. In no, their no, no. in their language, in their terms, mm -hmm. black is not a nationality. Neither is white. Right, exactly. Neither they is call white. themselves Caucasians. That's not and, a nationality. Uh, and and um and uh Europeans. That's not a nationality. But I'm saying that's what they that's and the, and it's and it's not a legal term. Okay? This thing is this, right? We are black. The, they don't care if you are 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 Muslim or Christian or Moor. They don't care if you're a Hebrew Israelite or if you're sovereign or if you don't recognize the social construct. All they now, care now what about did you just explain. You explain a gangster. You explain mm -hmm. uh, Benzel Washington, awful Amer American gangster. How you figure that? Because that's what you just explained. They, you said they don't care about all of them. That's that sounds like a gangster talking. Well, that's what they are. Mentality. That's what they are. They right. they gangsters. Right. We understand. I know, yeah, I they are gangsters. To understand that. Mm -hmm. They don't care what you. They they. they, they or like John Henry, Henry Clark said about the British and about the French, well dressed thugs. <laughs> that's what they are. And the the Italian mob kept up that tradition of well. Dress thugs, cause who you know dress better than some of these Italian gangsters? Yeah, they, they dress. John Gar Gotti was man, he was sharp. Mm -hmm. That bro, that dude dressed. He's a thug, and that's what these people are. They thugs. That's what our government is. They thugs. So how how do we officially let uh, and elect these thugs to be in office? What's the what's the uh? uh <laughs> I, the people has to come together and get rid of these stuff. That's like, what they kind of do. I was talking to my buddy the other day, mm -hmm. and we was looking at something on TV, and the president couldn't, ha don't have any legal authorization over the state. Okay, so and then it was like it was a a a, a bomb, right? Mm -hmm. And the uh, the bomb went off, and they started getting all black and Muslim people in the state. And beating them up, locking them up, and killing them because they thought Muslims did it. Mm -hmm. And the president called the national guard. No, called the guy, the, 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 state, the governor, the governor of the state, mm -hmm. and was like, "Yo, um, yo, we gotta do something about that. Stop these cops from back down." Mm -hmm. He's like, "Nah, I ain't backing down." He told the president what he was gonna do. You're right. And the president couldn't do nothing. Well, actually, he could have. He could have federalized the national guard in that state and made them federal troops. Because the federal government supersedes and overrules the state government, okay? And and they did right. it in, 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 what was it, in Alabama when George Wallace, was it Alabama? Yeah, when George Wallace wouldn't let, wouldn't allow black students to come to college, all right? What uh, Kennedy did was he federalized the National Guard, meaning they were no longer state National Guard. They are now federal National Guard, and he said... Get him out the doorway. And he got to back down. If you federalize, if the president uses his federal power, they have to back down. Right. This is where uh, 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 the Civil War came in. Of course, the Civil War was about slavery. They want to say it was about states' rights. But it was their state right to hold people in slavery. And the federal government said, no, you can't do that. So South Carolina... North Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, mm -hmm. all the people, the Confederate the states, slaves. Right. They said, "Well, we ain't no longer part of y'all." So, the union or the federal government said, "Yeah, you're going to stay a part of us, or we're going to kick your ass." And that's what they did. And that's why federal to this day, the federal government supersedes state government. Yeah, you know now. <clears throat> oh, oh. 
got to get through this. I got to get through this before, <laughs> before I get out of here. All right. All right. You heard about the little boy in Michigan. Went to get his bike out the neighbor's yard. And this Asian man shot the little boy. Luckily, the bullet went through the boy's arm. Mm. Okay? Now, in, 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 in the recent attempt at killing a young black boy, thank you for the sharing, by an Asian man, pushing the narrative of stop Asian hate is used as another response against Black Lives Matter, not the movement. This situation just confirms that the system is set up to disrespect and destroy black people. And the ironic thing is that they are talking about Asian hate. Really? This is not the first time an Asian has shown racist hatred towards black people. Over the years, there have been many instances where Asians have attacked black people in places owned by Asians, duty supply stores, nail salons. But unlike black people, Asians have been given the same opportunity in the justice system as white people. In fact, the bond that was set on that, on that attempted murderer was 10000 a measly $10,000. They waited three days to go get him. And then when they did, the judge laid him out uh, on attempted murder on a $10,000 bond. That's nothing. He didn't kill a boy, though. He didn't kill the boy, but he shot a child. All right? I mean, That's a murder. Matter. He meant to kill him. He meant to kill him. The but more black people... murder is usually a longer charge anyway. Yeah. Because you ain't do what you was trying to do. Do. Yeah. And, and they yeah. punish you for that. Yeah. And they should. <laughs> <laughs> and they should. You tried to kill him, but you didn't. You made him messed up for life. Mm -hmm. they, they punish you more for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, this, this is an attempt to undermine black lives, which have not mattered in this country since before its inception. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, let me tell you something before we roll out of here. All right. And uh, I'm sure this will apply from my man's over here, from Nosa Roman. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. This is what. You know, I got that short time memory. When I shut my mouth and walk away, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you won. Right. It simply means your stupid ass ain't worth arguing with no damn boy. Yeah, but you that boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. All right. All right. As I always say, destiny determines who enters your life, but you decide who stays. Therefore, value those who value you. And don't treat those as a priority who treat you as an option. I'm No Roma. Patrice Gibbs. WHGE 95.3 FM. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I got Yo, thanks for joining us. We going off now, bro. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. I know, man. <laughs> who that? Who that? My boy, LeBron. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, Sherry. Hey, I see you. Hey, yeah, boy. Dude. Hey, yo. Thank you for that, there. Sherry. I'm the lie, Daryl. Yo. Thanks for joining. Tune in next week because we're going to be doing the same thing. This is how we do. We do it just like this, and that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Hope you learned something today, because I damn sure did learn something when I uh, uh, started doing this research. <laughs> that's word. Ring the bell, screws out. Great. <laughs> hey.